Okay, so in this video we are going to be talking about impulse and momentum. So let's give the question a read. A 0 .05 kilogram tennis ball is moving to the right with the speed of 10 meters per second. It is struck by a tennis racket causing it to move to the left at a speed of 10 meters per second. If the ball remains in contact with the racket for 0 .01 seconds, what is the magnitude of the average force exerted on the ball? Okay, so I have all the information that we're given in this question written out here. And we should start with this equation here. The sum of the impulse J is equal to the change in momentum P right here. So we're going to start off by solving for the change in momentum. So that's going to be the momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. And how I'm going to do it is since the mass of the ball isn't changing, that's just going to be 0 0.05. We're going to times that by notice that it will be moving to the right at 10 meters per second then it will switch directions to be moving to the left at 10 meters per second so the the change in velocity is going to be 20 so what we will get for the momentum here is going to be it's going to come out to be 1 kilogram meter per second. Okay, now that we have that information, we are going to find an out to see what the impulse, what equation we use for impulse. And that is going to be the impulse J is equal to force times the change in time and so we already calculated because the impulse is equal to the change momentum so we have that value here so it's the one right here so now what we want to figure out is is the force so what we're going to do is we are going to divide over the delta T so force is going to be equal to the impulse divided by the change in time which that comes out to be what we calculated earlier is one and then the contact time with the racket is point zero one and w the answer should come out to be 100 newtons. Please leave a comment if this video helped. Um, just any way to figure out how I can make these videos better or any suggestions, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.